But without further ado, let's get to Charlie O'Connor's three stars of the game leading off with star number three. Star number three, I, I really, really want it to give this to Noah Cates because he got the game-winning goal. It was a great play. And he actually had really, really good advanced stats in this game. Uh, he had a, uh, by natural stat trick at 5 on 5, 73.66% expected goals for. So let's let's call him the honorary, honorable mention, fourth star of the game, Noah Cates, because I think he does deserve a lot of credit for his overall play and obviously the huge goal. But I'm going to go with my third star being Joel Farabee, because I thought he was just extremely noticeable in this game. He continues to be, on a nightly basis, an impact player for this team, had the great pass set up Konechny, had a few other passes that nearly turned into goals. I thought he just, on the whole, was extremely noticeable from start to finish. I thought that the first period, as bad as it was, he was one of maybe only two or three Flyers players that was playing well in the first period, that that line with uh, Konechny and Frost and Farabee was the only line that did anything in the first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought Farabee just... And we've talked about this after a few of the games, even after some of the games that they lost uh, during that five-game losing streak, that Farabee, it's just getting to the point where you expect him to have an impact every night. And I thought coming out of the break, he did exactly what he's been doing for pretty much the past month and a half, which is be one of the best players on the ice for the Flyers. So for that reason, he is my third star. Let's go to Charlie O'Connor's star number two. Star number two is Travis Konechny, the rat. Travis Konechny battling with the other rat, Matthew Kachuk. It's tremendous. Gets the big goal, leads the team in ice time. I thought he really needed this game. I really do. I, I thought he needed this one in order to um, shake off what has been a bit of a, uh, a cold stretch for him. Had the week off, got to reset, went back out there. He looked like the Travis Konechny that leads the team in points that for a while was on pace for 40 goals. Travis Konechny is the Flyers' most talented, best player, and he looked it. He is such a fucking flyer. Sure is. Like It might be dumb, but I want to keep this guy. I, I know. I, I just... Uh, anyway, let's get to Charlie O'Connor's first star of this game. First star of the game, Sam Erson, the new number one goalie for the Philadelphia stud Flyers. Erson. Stud Erson, one of those S's, we'll give it to yeah. him. Uh, he can be can stand for stud, sure, why not? Um, I feel like there might be a shirt concept <laughs> There's there. There's got to be something. There's got to be a shirt concept there. But, uh, but anyway, uh, Sam Erson, I thought... He gets the first star for what he did in the first period. Not that he wasn't good the rest of the game, but for what he did in the first period, that game could have been 3 nothing, 4 nothing, could have been over. They could have got blown out of the building. He made so many big saves. And coming off of the break, when it's become now confirmed pretty much that he is the guy the rest of the year, because I don't think we're going to be seeing Card Hard in a Flyers uniform anytime soon, if ever again. Sam Harrison is the guy. He's the guy. And... With that knowledge, knowing that for a fact this is his net, he went out there and showed why it should be his net. He was great, made all but one save, and I would hope that people who watch this game are now a lot more confident in the goaltending for the rest of the season, even without Carter Hart. I am excited to see where Erickson goes from here. And you know how they always say, like, um, you know, you, you, you can't win the pennant in April, but you, you can sure as hell lose it. Sure. Like, the Flyers couldn't have won this game in the first period, <laughs> but they easily could have been down 4 nothing. Like, this yeah. could have gone the way of Boston. Yeah. Like, it wasn't that. I mean, Boston was on a different freaking level that day, but this could have gone that way yeah. if he wasn't playing his A game in the first period, and that allowed them to ease their way into this one yes. and finally figure it out and turn it competitive and then get the lead no, and no. hold the lead. And you think about it, like, if they go down 3 nothing, 4 nothing in the first period, then we're talking about a six-game losing streak. We're talking about another game where they went up against a cup contender and fell flat, and we're wondering if this is the start of the, the, fall, the, the falling off of a cliff. Instead, that whole narrative has changed for one reason. Sam Harrison stood on his head in the first period. And there it is, fam. We all sitting like the mayor. 